Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Monday edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. Dan Lobby with Ashley Bastock. Uh, we will do a Hey, Mary Kate later in the week, but Ashley and I are going to hold it down here on a Monday. And Ashley, get to it. The big news, I guess, is Odell Beckham Jr. kind yeah. of surprising everyone going to the Baltimore Ravens. He was supposed to visit with the Jets today, but Baltimore swoops in and signs him to a one-year deal. A lot of money uh, could be worth up to $18 million for Beckham. And what were your thoughts yesterday? I know you were covering Cavs on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> but what, what were your thoughts when you saw the, the tweets that Beckham was going to Baltimore? Well, first of all, I mean, there was like a few hours there afterwards. I'm trying to write my Cavs story or a story on Evan Mobley today that's on the Cavs section of the website. So if any Cavs slash Browns fans head over there and read that. But like there was so much sports news yesterday. Like Odell happened. The Timberwolves like imploded and I'm trying to follow that. I'm hearing Rudy Gobert punch somebody. Another guy punched a wall. Like what is happening? But the Odell stuff to me, like I think think I texted this to our um, subtext subscribers yesterday. And I like stand by what I said on the Friday pod. I am still, I know, I know like money talks, right? And I think that's kind of like what this came down to. But knowing Odell's history and his history of getting disgruntled over quarterback play, I'm kind of surprised to see him go to a team where things are maybe the murkiest out of all 32 teams in the league at quarterback right now. Because Lamar Jackson just seems so unhappy to the point that adding a pass catcher like Odell, because obviously it seemed like the the Hollywood Brown thing last year was like a major point of contention with him and the Ravens front office. I don't know that adding Odell is going to fix all of his hard feelings. So if Lamar Jackson is still like intent on not playing there, like what does that then mean for Odell to me? Like if this situation is so toxic, both sides are essentially essentially like we can't figure this out. Like we've come to an impasse, like we're going to have to go in a different direction. Is Odell really going to want to play with Tyler Huntley? <laughs> like for me, that just is the most surprising part of it for me. But like, obviously I am curious. Like I, I don't think that this would be enough alone to fix Lamar Jackson's hard feelings, but like never say never, I guess. Like I am curious how this impacts all that now. Yeah. And and it's so strange because you almost wonder, like, is it just the money? The fact that the Ravens, and it sounded like no one, I mean, Odell was tweeting about it. Of course it sounded like no one was willing to give Odell what he wanted. Um, And and it's maybe money talked in this situation. I know last night, uh, Lamar Jackson posted a screenshot of him FaceTiming with Odell. So Mm. I guess that would be Promising. weird if if it took Odell Beckham Jr. If that was the the thing that brought Lamar right. back, but I just, I mean, is is Odell going to give Lamar two hundred million dollars? I don't, I don't know. I think this is, I, I don't know if I see this as like the reason Lamar Jackson would come back. I suppose for Ravens right. fans, I know if the Browns were going through this situation, I think Browns fans would be grasping at any straw they could, and and this would certainly be a big one for them. Yeah, like it almost reminds me of, to use another NBA analogy, like remember in 2018 when everyone was watching what Paul George would do because they were like, whatever Paul George does is going to dictate what LeBron does. And Paul George stayed in Oklahoma City and everyone's like, oh, this is great. LeBron's coming back to the Cavs. And of course, it didn't matter. Like I think a lot of times when you have guys who are on a certain level, and we talked about Odell like this over the past few weeks, like Odell no matter what you think about him as Browns fans, I think, and I think we hear a lot of negative thoughts about Odell from Browns fans, which I don't necessarily blame them given how he left, but for better and worse, he is like a superstar in this league and has marketed himself and made a career out of doing that. And it's really impressive. I think the way he's managed to do that, but I don't know that like one single move is going to dictate anything or if he can control one single thing um, or another person's, I guess, career path. Like, it just is really hard for me to, I, I like, I go back to this had to be a money thing. And I know there were some questions I saw from subtexters about what does like the up to $18 million mean? Like, does that mean the Ravens are going to try to shortchange him? It's like, that means there's incentives of some yeah. sort attached to this deal. Um, and those incentives, like we see them, they're pretty common. They can be related to a player's individual stats. Um, you see guys get playoff incentives a lot like Jadavian Clowney he had that last year or in 2021 I know for sure because we talked about he hit all his sack incentives but like he still left some money on the table because the Browns didn't make the playoffs in 2021 um so that's all that means like Odell's fully aware like what that up to means and 
the price on the the pure deal itself without the incentives, I think just maybe was the best that he was going to get. And for me, knowing a guy who went through the injury that he went through and missed all this time, like I'm not surprised to see money talk for a 31-year-old wide receiver, however old he is now. Yeah, it's hard to imagine he's getting 15. 15-